Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Coach Q, what's up? We are here this afternoon in Winnebago live. We're on the live stream for YouTube for the Winnebago Public School and also on our Big Voice you, uh, Facebook page. We're getting ready to start up. Today's contest is between our beloved Winnebago Indians and the traveling team from Pine Ridge, the Thorps. Yeah, I'd like to welcome the Thorps here. We, just for those folks that are joining us, uh, the Winnebago Indian Lady Indians came away with a win, and uh, we're getting ready for the second portion of today's live action. It's a beautiful Saturday. I'd like to it thank sure those that came all the way from Pine Ridge. It's a good maybe seven-hour trip. Yep. Head to the west where the sun sets, and yep. uh, they came. These guys, uh, we had Casey Means here, the head coach for the Thorps on, and they're going to go through a gauntlet of a schedule. They play tonight, and then they'll play on Monday and Tuesday. Now, for the Winnebago Indians, they're going to be in action against Bancroft Rosalie right here next Tuesday, January 24th, so make sure you join them. As we're going to get started with our starting lineup here, what do you know about the Thorps here, Coach Q? Well, I heard the Thorps are a pretty decent ball club. Right now, we got uh, number 11, Anthony Steele, number uh, zero. Oh, number, Justin Eagle, number 23, Juan Espinoza. Number 24, Bradley Jensen, and then number 15, Jalen Rillard. <clears throat> okay, so help us out with those numbers here. The, the program that we got, it says here that uh, Juan Espinoza and Hollowhorn, you see that, Q? Oh. Yeah, uh, Hollowhorn, is it... 30 or 23 Hollowhorn, but we're going to get the starting lineup with the Winnebago Indians. Help us out. Give us a comment below. Yeah, definitely. But Winnebago looks like they're starting uh, uh, number zero, Duran Blackfish. Number two, Kevin Tebow. Number five, Destin Vargas. Number 21, the big man in the middle, Timmy LaPointe. And then the distinct, distinguished gentleman running point guard, number 22, Diami Barrage. There we have it. So the Winnebago Indians have a, they're over 50% on their record. I believe they're like eight and six or whatnot. And uh, the Thorps are up there as well. They have a winning record. And so it's going to be a fast paced game. It's going to be yeah. a res ball game. It is going to be res ball. And we have to say this public service announcement, folks. Make sure you buckle in your seat belt as we are going to get ready for some live action res ball right here in Winnebago, Nebraska. Coach Q joined by a DJ guaranteed. Camera operators Billy DeCora, Gentry Saints here, and Trisha Eschinger. Directing today's show is none other than Bessemi Redhorn, the host of ARL. Yeah, and in the first half, we have a special guest here uh, from the girls basketball team here in Winnebago. Coach Todd Alberts is here to share some of his basketball knowledge Coach during the first Alberts. half. Coach Alberts, what's up, man? Long time no see, brother. Yeah, it has been a while. <laughs> uh, about 20-some years. Yeah. <laughs> How long has it been, Alberts, since you've been here? Um, I know you already counted them. 23. 23 years. 23 years. Oh. Hey, I, it's 23, year, 23 years since I've been coaching. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Barrage works the, he's trying to get on the board here. Throws up a bunny, can't get it to go. Rebound by Vargas, loses the handle. Here comes the Thorps, fast action. Both teams got a possession for on offense and neither one of them come up with anything, so. Number 15 puts it up, can't get it to go. Rebound by the Winnebago Indians, first quarter action. And Vargas is going to be looking for, oh, he's just going to take it on up here. Congratulations on your win, Coach Alberts. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I thought that the girls played hard. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a much needed win. Yeah. Very gritty game. Yeah. And at times it was kind of hard to watch, kind of ragged. Yeah. But there was other times that we, looked, we executed pretty well. Three-pointer yeah. by Blackfish here puts the Winnebago Indians on the board. And it looks like there's going to be a foul called, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good game here. We had the player of the game. Harlan had a good game. Yes, she did. She shot the ball yep, very Danny well. Shot the very ball well. Really well. And then the other the other side, we gave the number 32, the little. Yeah. We gave mm -hmm. her the, the player of the game. She scored half her team's points. Yeah, she's a good ball player, too. All right, number 24 puts the Thorps on the board. 24 is uh, Jensen, I believe. Yep. Well, looks like uh, Thorpes are coming out in a man-to-man, -man, uh, putting a lot of pressure on Dami Berge. The guy Hands. almost loses the handle, and uh, looks like he does. Turnover there by the Thorpes are off in their fast break. 
reaching foul there by Vargas. That's going to be the first team as well as uh, it's, his first. It's his second now. Oh, he, okay. He just got picked up on that first foul over there with doing the same thing with his hands. So All right. that's his second foul really quick, less than two minutes into the game. And yep. Vargas has to come out and cash his Carnes. Uh, I believe he's a sophomore comes into the game. Or his cash is a junior. Inbounds play by the Thorps. Zero. Top of the key on over to number 15. Top of the key, number 24 for three. In and out it goes. Rebound, Blackfish, Winnebago Indians. Okay, so, great. Coach, uh, your team, how the Lady Indians uh, do this year? Young team, old team? What are you guys thinking? Well, we're pretty young. Uh, yeah. We have uh, two seniors and one junior, and the rest of them are freshmen and sophomores. And so most wow. of the time on the floor, we have – one senior and four sophomores. Wow. You know? <laughs> so, you know, we talk about that during during the live stream is uh, that Winnebago is actually like in a learning year. I don't definitely want to call. I don't necessarily want to call it a rebuilding year, mm -hmm. but it's a learning year uh, for some of these these uh, these freshmen and these sophomores that are going to get a lot of time next year. You know, they're getting the experience in the games right now. Blackfish drives the lane, draws contact, and the floor or the foul is going to be called on the floor. And I think some of it is, you know, a lot of these girls are just, like you said, kind of they're trying to find their own identity right now and where they fit in, you know, on the team and who's the point guard and who's the other guard and, and what, you know, a lot of role playing, you yeah. know, and, and, and a lot of that game's mental as well as physical. So that that's part of it also. Hey, uh, Coach, you remember when uh, we went up to Laura Brule, what was that tournament called? And we won that. I forgot the name of that. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> we I don't were trying to figure it out too. I don't remember what it was called. I don't think it was uh, the Dakota Ate Challenge. No. It, it was. Uh, was it All Nations or something like that? I, maybe that's what it is. I maybe think it was All, All Nations yeah, tournament. I believe it was. All I know is that uh, we woke up and there was like I don't know eight or twelve inches of snow <laughs> on the ground the next morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and thank goodness we were. Uh, we were living. We were uh, staying right there in that motel. The Buffalo Nickel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, here we go. Barrage. All over to Carnes. Carnes is on the wing. Tebow's down there. He has his man posted up, but Carnes throws it out over to Lapointe. Lapointe drives his man, loses the handle. Thorpe's coming away with it. Number 15, 24, drives the lane on over to 11. Squares up for three. Oh, out it goes. Number 23 for offensive rebound by the Thorpes. 24. Let's see here. Let's try to get these names down here, uh, Q. 23 is who? I, you know, 23, he looks like he's about 6'4", so that's going to be the 6'4 the kid, not the 6'7 kid. 23. Is that Hollowhorn or Espinoza? Help us out here. We got we got uh, Espinoza that has wears 23 and 21. Dunk time. Okay, here we go. 23. Should we call him Espinoza Hollowhorn? <laughs> We're kind of mixed up on the numbers. We apologize, gentlemen. Yep. But uh, for, we got about uh, 145 people on the stream. So comment below if you're for the Winnebago Indians or the yeah, out of you, Pine Ridge Thorpe. Out of you 145, how many of you are from up in the uh, Dakota area up there in South Dakota? Put that on. Okay, good defensive and maybe, game. Yeah, and maybe help us out with those names on there, guys. Oh, air ball by Barrage. I don't know if it was tipped or not. No. The point last touched it, so looks like we have a break in action. So while we do that here, uh, best of me, if you can bring up the keys to victory, and we'll have you talk about that, Coach Q. We have uh, tonight's keys to victory, and go ahead. All right, so like, like I was saying earlier, but it really kind of uh, uh, kind of talk about in this boys game, the run and gun, you know, run and have fun. Yep. So far, we've seen both teams up and back, up and back. For you sure. Know, as long as you're having fun, the fans are having fun, you know? I said no foul trouble, and what happens? Yeah, right off the bat, then right. uh, Vargas gets two fouls right off the bat. Make sure you guys ball out. Tempo is key, especially on this res ball here. I think the referees might be a little kind of shell-shocked, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think so, too. You know, especially in that girls game, it did seem like they were calling too many, and I think they're going to let these boys play just you know, just as aggressive. So, you know, uh, uh, also, both or for both teams, you guys got to play defense, you know? Yeah. You already know what style of basketball you're going to play. Now, you got to play. He said be vocal. What are you yeah. talking about when he you say be uh, just, just talk, you know, like right now in this press, you know, the, 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 the guy that's in the back needs to be talking to everybody and telling them where everybody's at, you know. All right, 24, 4, 3. Can't get it to go. Let's see, a good rebound by Tebow. And here come the Winnebago Indians. 3.58 left in the first quarter. 3 to 4. Thorpes have a one-point lead as LaPointe works to Barrage. 
Baird's top of the key from the three-point line, or free throw. Can't get it to go. Tebow almost had the rebound, loses the handle, so Thorpe's coming away with the ball. Yeah, good good defense um, by the Thorpe's over there. Uh, getting that ball back and not letting the shot go off. You know, Winnebago has some really good guards. They really do have good guards, and uh, Pine Ridge playing really good defense right now. Oh, as I say that, Ooh, Blackfish. Blackfish gets a steal, goes in for the uncontested layup. So good stats there. We are we are also looking for the players of the game. Tell them about that, cute. Yeah, player of the game for both teams. You know, um, everybody who's online or listening on the radio, you guys uh, try, try to listen in and watch who your best player is, your favorite player for the game is. And not necessarily like if it's your nephew or your grandson, <laughs> but somebody who's uh, somebody who's out here balling for these teams. We're going to give the let's award go. out to, I know, let's go, Sonny Boy. <laughs> let's go, nephew. I know, hey, but uh, we'll, we'll give one to uh, one one for the Indians and one for the Thorps. Okay, 23 is Hollow Horn. Thank you. Thank you guys on the Pine Ridge side for helping us on out. So, Albert, what has changed since you, you were in the Bermuda Triangle or something like that, but what has really changed <laughs> <laughs> since you last been here in Winnebago? Well, I, I don't know if a whole lot's changed. We got three gyms now. <laughs> yeah. Instead of having Remember boys the old school gym? We didn't have a one floor in it. Boys and girls <laughs> practice. Uh, Mark Casey and I and start practice at four and didn't get out of here until eight. Yeah. Like boys and girls, you know, and it was just, uh, yeah, the facilities are so nice. And, you know, I mean, it's just <laughs> a good learning environment for the kids and stuff like this. And we offer a lot more classes and stuff like that for them. And yeah. Are you still of, coaching science? Yep, still coaching science, still biology, coaching science. and environmental science. So, so I got a story for you guys. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> he told me that there's mites in the ear, uh, the eyebrows. And I, we said, how do you get rid of them? What's your answer? How do you get rid of those mites? <laughs> well, I, was it the ones I said that you start them on fire on one yeah. side, wait till they crossed out to the other side? And <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, hey, Alves, you're always from the res, man. Yeah. Always from the res, bro. <laughs> Hey, but uh, just so your listeners know, too, you know, we have a, a sports talk show on Wednesdays at 5 o'clock. And this coming week, uh, Coach Alberts is going to join us. Yeah. And I'm going to I'm going to go. I'm going to get deep on Coach Alberts on some of these questions now. OK. Now, we haven't seen Coach Alberts in over 20 years. And all of a sudden, he just shows up in Winnebago again. All There's right. a lot that we missed. <laughs> yeah, all for right. sure. And you're got, you guys are all going to learn. Substitution, Thorpe brings in number zero. And the, for the Indians, number 24, who is who? That's my sunny boy. Let's go rock. <laughs> That's player of the game, right? Player of the game already right there. He's got my vote right there. All right. So Thorpe to inbounds the play. Six to seven. Good back and forth action between both teams. As uh, number one sends it on over to number 15 for a three. In and out it goes. LaPointe with a good rebound. Yeah, that's good defense right there by 24. Rockman free bass working on that player of the game. <laughs> hey, shout out to Mama at home. Mama, our boys in the game. Barrage gets the screen from LaPointe. Works it. Oh, late, nice pass. It oh, attack. Wisely Baseline brings it pass. down. Oh, free bass. Top of the key. They're going to reset here. So 142 left in the first quarter. Barrage squares with his man up. Oops. Looks like a reach and foul, no call there. Barrage is triple teamed on that one. Yeah, we noticed, you just got to say that too, about looks like a reach and foul. Looks like a lot of a lot of hand movement on defense, you know, on both mm -hmm. sides. And uh, like what they should have done in the girls game is clean that up real quick, you know, because you don't clean that up real quick the referees and it kind of gets end up getting right. physical like that girls yep. game, you know. Oh, stolen. Zero. Wide open. Scores for the Thorps. Zero is number eagle. That's uh, Justin Eagle. Yep. Back to our number zero, which is Blackfish. Ooh, nice dribbling movement there by Blackfish. Drives the lane. Oh, all the way. Oh, almost. Nice moves there. Couldn't get it to go. Here comes the Thorps in their fast break. This is Res Ball 101 right here, folks. As two points for the Thorps. That's number 15, really Art. Yeah. First quarter picked up the pace a lot in the last minute and a half or so. Rillard, how do you say his last name? How, do you, how would you say it? I think it's a... Rillard. Rillard? Yeah. All right. 56 seconds left in the first quarter. Thorpe's up on Winnebago. 11. Winnebago has six. Yeah, Winnebago just... I, I think a lot of times, especially in, in a game such as this, you never seen each other play before. It's, we always go back to boxing matches. Oh, the yeah. feel around, the feel around. That's yeah, just, yeah. That's first, just first round. quarter right here. Yeah. After this, I think we're going to see some pretty good basketball. You know what I mean? Winnebago Indians. Oh, uh, good defense yeah. by Rockman. Free bass. I was just going to talk the defense. turnover. So Winnebago has that full court there as Steele, number 11, and Barrage. 
Bears to inbound the play. 53 seconds. Sends it on over to Blackfish. Number zero is a good defender. He's looking for the steal, huh? Zero on zero on that number right there. That's a good matchup. We'll watch that one throughout the night. Barrett drives the baseline, shoots up by two, can't get it to go. Almost Rockman free bass gets the rebound. Couldn't get away with it. And Carnes comes up with the ball. Hustle. There we go. LaPointe to Barrett. Good defense by Pine Ridge. Yeah. LaPointe with the screen. Barrett can call out the play. They reset. 19 seconds. Let's see if they go for the last shot here. Barrage drives the lane, has three defenders on him. On over to Blackfish for a three. Oh, in and out. Here comes the Thorps. They got seven seconds to work with. On the ground. Three. The point. Two. Baseball pass to the cheerleaders. Hey, what'd you think, Alberts? Good yeah. commentary. Yeah. <laughs> no, good commentary. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a commentator. I, uh, yeah. I'm, just like I told our boys there a little while ago, a couple days ago, actually, I said, you know, if you guys just come together, yeah, the district's yours. Yeah, there's nobody in that district that that's that right. is even close to what you guys can do if you play together. Yeah, and uh -huh. we saw that. We saw that. I thought I thought some of that in Ponca when yeah. we set up there, you know, and I thought the Ponca game was a good game for him. I said, you know, I thought the flow of the game went pretty good and everything, and. Kind of like you guys said, this is pretty ragged a little bit, but they're trying to feel each other out. And the officials are pretty much letting everything go. Uh, they kind of did in the girls' game, and like you said, then they tried to correct it in the second half, and then it made it really hard to, to get that corrected. But, um, yeah, you look at uh, Coach Beans down there. You see him, Q? Yep. He is uh, kind of telling them what's up. You know, don't let off the gas for sure, as the Thorps are up 11 over the Winnebago Indians, who have six points. We're going to get ready to start the Now, is that a Monty Means's? That's, that's her uncle. Uncle, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought somebody said that he coached the boys, but I didn't know which one was yep, which. Yeah, yeah. He, no, he, he, works, he works with his boys uh, a lot up there, too. They do okay. a lot of off-season training and stuff. I don't think they play summer ball up that way, um, unless unless you can make it to Rapid right, City all the right, time, you know? Right, right, So, um, uh, yeah, but they he has a program where they, they, they work out a lot, you know, and it's showing on their defense. Yeah, they get their hands on a lot of balls, let me tell you. I mean, and they're not really fouling. It's mm -hmm. just that they get good touches on the ball. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's good coaching, that, that defense, the defensive position with your hands and everything, you know. Ooh, Blackfish in and out. Couldn't get the three to go. Thorpe's come away with another rebound. They like to push the tempo. Hey, well, nice pass there to 23. Yeah. That's Hollowhorn. Okay, gentlemen, I'm going to have to be going. I got to someplace I got to be tonight. Well, so, Coach uh, Alberts, as always, we appreciate you. We appreciate uh, uh, the time you're putting in with our young ones, you know, and then we'll we'll see you on Wednesday. Yep. And I'll have a lot of questions for you on Wednesday. Good. I'll be ready for all of them. And, <laughs> and I appreciate you guys covering the games and stuff like that. I really enjoy watching it and listening to you guys commentating. It helps when I... Your, your people that I uh, taught, oh, stuff yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. know, and yeah, I, I mean, I just, I really enjoy it, so, yeah, I'll, when I get the chances, you. so. We're on okay. the radio station as well, so when you head out from here, make sure you dial in KWTN 100.9 FM. 100.9, yeah. let's go. Substitution, Thorpe's number one comes into the game. Yeah. I can't even see him on the thing. Man, man. you see, uh, oh, that's a little, the, um, Pine Ridge is just a full court defense, you know. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of times, you know, I'm thinking about these coaches over here. These guys travel the circuit and go around and play all the best native ball players in the country, you know. And uh, a lot of times, it's just full court man to man. But you got to play defense, you know. Blackfish with the ball, zero and zero, drives the lane, takes on three defenders oh, nice and gets take. it to go. That's Blackfish. a good replay right there if you can get it. All right, so here comes number zero. That's Eagle. On over to number one, who is Little. Yeah, Winnebago playing a pretty good man-to-man. -man. Allowed him to go baseline, pass in the middle right there. Oh, good work. All right, Steel. Steel, Steel yep, with the travel. Okay, looks, looks like, like he's a sophomore. Like number three comes in. Blue this legs. might be Blue Legs, yes. 
Right, so Blackfish had some momentum going here for the Winnebago Indians. Let's see if they can capitalize that. Go on a run. Barrage with the ball. Works up him and Steele. Still defending Barrage. Top of the key is Barrage. Looks like they're doing some kind of a ISO play. Yeah, and you know it's good defense here when uh, Barrage doesn't have any points in the game so far. Usually he gets off to a hot start. And uh, Blackfish has been doing all the points so far. Yeah, sometimes, you know, when uh, the other team, and, and Coach Means probably does this, though, you know. Yeah. He, he's one of those coaches where he's going to go all out, and he probably watched a lot of film on Winnebago. I mean, all the games are on our YouTube page. Yep. Just got to turn the game on. Notice that you got you have to probably key on Barrage. You know, Barrage is a, is a strong shooter. He's right. a strong uh Attacker, a penetrator on that on, on the offense, and and definitely he's a, he's a, one of the best passes that I've seen. Well, we like to invite you folks to Winnebago Talks. It's going to be on Tuesday at 11 o'clock at the Big Voice KWTN 100.9. We got a good discussion that's going to be taking place. So make sure you join us for that. We also have the Winnebago's Last Bear Moon Winter Celebration that's going to be happening on February 25th, 2022. And folks, also, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our live stream sponsors. So we want to thank our sponsors. They are none other than Ho-Chunk Incorporated, TB Customs, Avery Brothers, Iron Horse Casino, Big Time Cleaning LLC, Native Star Casino, and Ho-Chunk Farm. Shout out to Aaron LaPointe, all those gentlemen up there. Providing us with some good corn. Did you, did oh, you yeah. get your corn soup? And man, they yes, ain't nothing I, like some good corn soup, right? I always, I always get my corn soup for Thanksgiving and Christmas and my birthday. Three times out of the year. Uh, probably three quarts apiece. So I'm working with about nine quarts on a year. Tonight is Fan Appreciation Night. We want to send a shout out to the Ho Chunk uh, Community Impact Engagement Team as well as Ho Chunk Incorporated for tonight's Fan Appreciation Night. Okay. Here we go. Q, are you ready? Yeah, win a bigger basketball. Let's go. LaPointe with the ball. He's on top of the key. Working it around. A little in trouble there. Good defense by the Thorups. Tebow is going to reset. And they are really on barrage. Tebow loses it. Thorups come away. And looks like a foul is going to be called on LaPointe. Wow. Yeah, looks like they're keying on barrage. Uh, they might even be doing a, some kind of a box and one or, or just what they call denying the ball. Uh -huh. So who's going to step up for Winnebago? And Blackfish has been stepping up so far. Uh, I think he has all the points for Winnebago so well, far. I believe that we're going to need some kind of noise from one of the two big men down here, LaPointe or uh, Tebow, yep. uh, down here to make some kind of an impact on, uh, on the rebounds. And Vargas is sitting down with two fouls. He started the game, but uh, they got him in foul trouble right away. Yeah, Vargas is. That's it's a tough. It's a tough loss when you got to sit down uh, because of foul trouble, like you said at the beginning of the game, Garen. And Vargas is sitting at. He's about six two, six three, you know, yeah. and with a long wingspan. So th that's a lot of rebounds that you're kind of chancing on not getting by having him on the bench. Thorps with the ball. They have it on the wing. Merkin it down low. Number twenty three, Hollowhorn. In and out it goes. Good rebound there by the Thorps. They bring it back out to the wing. Number twenty four squares up. Carnes is on him. And uh, almost loses it, he regains control. He goes in and he travels. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think he traveled a little bit before the whistle, but uh, good call by the officials. Uh, kind of bailed us out because it looked like he was getting hacked too down there too. Jensen is number 24, okay. All right, Blackfish drives it to the other side of the Winnebago side. Here we go. LaPointe sets the screen on over to Tebow, to Carnes. LaPointe calling for the ball, has his man posted up, can't get it. So Blackfish brings it up, top of the key. 4.30 left. Oh, Blackfish with a step back. Oh, and a three. Three points. Within two now, down two. Bago down two. Bago oh, trying to D up. He throws it in the back of the backboard right there. Okay. It was last touched by Tebow. So substitution. Oh, okay. I didn't see the deflection. It just looked like he threw it up in the backboard there. <laughs> Good defense by Tebow having his hands up. Use that wingspan, boy. So Vargas is back into the game, ladies and gentlemen, as number 23 drives the lane. Nice move. Can't get it to go. Barrage comes away. Fast break. Fast break. He has numbers. Two on three. Can't get it to go. Oh, all right. So good hustle there by Lapo or the Thorps to get back. 
And nice hustle up there by the Thorps here, but can't quite get it. Yeah, good hustle there by number five. Nice hustle trying to save that ball going out of bounds. All right, Justin Eagle steps into the game. Number 23 is going to have a seat for the Thorps. Hollow horn. Barrage slows it down just a hair, calls out traffic. Winnebago trying to get back into this here. They're down by. Oh, can't get it to go. So here comes the Thorps. Barrage on the ground. Nice baseball. Oh, good defense by Blackfish there. Anticipation gets, oh. comes away with the steal. Nice. Nice Ooh. take by Blackfish. Wow. If anybody's going to step up, that young man right there has been stepping up right that here. That is a senior and a co uh, coach means yeah. takes a timeout. And uh, Blackfish hears it from the crowd. For crowd sure. Giving him a good. Uh, a good applause as they take a timeout there. You know, Gary, yeah. I, 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 Let's go back to the keys of victory here, Let's Coach go. Q. And uh, you, we, we forgot to do Billy's. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, Billy's behind the camera operations and stuff. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you guys, uh, we appreciate his help. But he says stay focused. Yeah, stay focused. Yeah, because you got to focus that camera, right? <laughs> yeah, he's got to focus in that camera. Don't make it blurry. Yep, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Because he's looking at us right now. Yeah, and there's, a, there's a lot of young uh, young women walking around here, single, so he's <laughs> distracted a little bit. And then uh, he said rebound. So. Uh, rebound, yeah. He is on the rebound, too. <laughs> <laughs> 342 left. Here we go. Coach Means takes the timeout here. Maybe just to settle the momentum. You think? Yeah. Bagel. You, you, you know, a lot of times you just want to you, you want to just call a timeout, not really to to get after your kids, but just to give them a little break. You know, just kind of regroup your thoughts and stuff like that. And they're coming out here a little bit more under control. All right, little back over to Steel. Steel down and uh, let's see here. Nice ball movement by the Thorps. Lose the handle. Here comes Vargas. He has Carnes. Carnes for. Oh, good there rebound go. by Vargas. Carnes had a good layup. That was a that was a good play by Vargas. Yeah. Um, you know, just coming in off off the bench. His legs are, he's been sat down for a while. His legs gonna stiffen up maybe. But right off the bat, he had to make a defensive play there, and then a nice uh, unselfish pass. Uh, and now that he's going to the line. He misses his front end, or not his front end, but his first free throw of two. Okay, so first time action here from number 22, Xander Lawrence, 6'3", bringing in some height here. Uh, Coach Means is doing that. So Vargas, did he make that first one? No, he missed that first one, missed Ooh. the second one. Okay. But Winnebago gets a rebound with Tebow. Yep. Blackfish, who is on fire, works his man. Number five, drives the lane, on out to Carnes. Carnes drives into the basket. Can't get it to go, so here comes Eagle over to 11 and can't get that one to go. So back and forth, fast break by the Winnebago Indians. In for two, can't get it to go. Vargas gets his own rebound still. Oh my goodness gracious. Two chances at it. There's Steele off the backboard, no go. Carnes. Two blown layups by Pine Ridge right there. Blackfish. Nice pass, Durant. is there you on go. the board for two. His first points of the game. All right, so number 15 drives the lane and almost an end one. Foul's gonna be on Vargas. Nope, Tebow. Tebow, excuse me. Oh, we got it. Another freshman coming in for his first minutes, number 20, Farron Carnes. Looks like he might be giving Tebow a short break here. Farron Carnes, uh, what do they have listed as Garen? Because I believe Farron's about 6'1, 6'2. Yeah, Farron is 6'1. Uh, 6'1. And uh, I know he's going to get taller. His, uh, his older brother, Kobe, which is the uh, phenom here in Winnebago on the state championship team, uh, he's got some pretty long legs and long wingspan. So I know that boy's not done growing yet. So. We're going to see some good things out of Carnes. All right. So, Winnebago clinging on to a one-point lead. Let's see if the Thorps can tie it up. 15-14. And they do. All right. Good game. Hey, just like we talked about the girls' game, you know, these, yeah. these games here, you know, nobody nobody wants to let the other team get the better of them. Right. You know, they're going to come out here and they're going to give it their all on both sides here. And as we can see, it's an even matchup with these teams, too. Barrage drives the oh, lane. Oh, nice move. Gets a good look. Oh. Almost an end one. Foul. And it's a shooting foul. I think nice. it's on number 11. Yeah, nice little head fake, a little up and under, you know, a little, um, little Tim Duncan fundamental type move, you know. Barrage with a lot of knowledge right there using his footwork. 
So the Thorpes, uh, that foul was on number 11. That's his first personal foul. Team's seventh. Barrage good for fr the first free throw. Puts his team up by one. We got a packed crowd here in Winnebago. Thank you, all you fans, for coming out here and joining us here. Good in rebound this there by uh, Village of Winnebago. So, what's your prediction and final score? Oh, uh, final score. Let's go, let's go overtime for this game here. Let's go okay. uh, one overtime, 75-74. Uh, Winnebago with the dub. Barrage with the steal there gets fouled by number zero of the Thorps. That's Justin Eagle with his foul. Number zero for the Thorps uh, with uh, his. First foul, I believe. All right, substitution. He's going to have a seat yes. as Xavier Little comes into the game. I'm going to talk about this young man who just now got checked out of the game, number zero. Yeah. You know, he he plays some awesome defense. Yeah. He he was he shut Diami down the first in the whole first quarter, and the young man doesn't. He, that's his first foul. He don't have no points or anything like that on the board, but he sure did a good job watching Barrage, and we all know that Barrage is a, a pretty good ball player. Here we go, number 15 squares up for a three, can't get it to go. Barrage comes away with the rebound. Baseball pass down to Carnes. Carnes in for the layup, good nice. for two, Winnebago Indians. Good, good little movement. Yeah, good little run here by in, the Indians. Uh, picking up the defense, going to a, looks like they're in like a 2-1-2 two -two trap or a 1-3-1 one -one trap. Oh, go get the ball. Number 22 couldn't get a three-point uh, three attempt, so Barrage comes away with the rebound, pulls up to the free throw line, and can't get it to go. And it looks like it hit that uh, top of the backboard. Yeah, the little rope up there. Got good shot selection by Barrage. I think he might have been able to slow it down a little bit so he can maybe get a couple of rebounders down, but nice selection of a shot because right there at the elbow or the free throw line, uncontested, I take that shot every day. Here comes the Thorpes. On top, Carnes being up, 22. They are kind of they, working the clock a little bit. Yeah, Winnebago isn't a 1-3-1 one, one right now. Thorpe's having trouble uh, getting the ball to the middle because Winnebago has... Oh, oh and one, Carnes. Just as I said that, they got the ball in the middle and <laughs> got, the, got the play. And Carnes picked up his first foul. So uh, to the line is Jalen. Jalen is a 6-2 junior. 6-2 junior. Good shot, uh, Jalen, number 15 there. Got the ball right in the middle, little, little uh, floater hook. Yeah, Jalen, right now he has uh, leading the scores for the Thorps with six points, misses his free throw. His last touch by the Thorps. Yep, so. yep. You know, right, right now, if you look at the points, it doesn't look like they have any scores in the game besides Jalen. So maybe uh, Winnebago needs to try to take advantage of that and get a couple buckets here. Here comes Blackfish, dumps it off to Barrage, back to Blackfish, back, Blackfish drives baseline. Oh, and last touch by Carnes, couldn't quite get the rock. That's a difficult pass to make, and then, you know, those difficult passes that you barely make are probably more difficult to catch if you don't have the angle. All right, 39 seconds to see what Coach Means is gonna do as uh, they call out the play, the Thorpes do. Number one has the ball that's a little on over to 22 for a three. Can't get it to go, rebound by the Thorpes. 25 seconds left. Blackfish playing hard. Yeah, getting his hands in there in that passing lane there. You know, Winnebago, uh, they're, they're, they are they they didn't get the ball back, but they're playing really good defense and, and uh, not letting those shots go off. Torps the inbounds of play in five yeah, on him. over to 11. Back to number 15, 22. Looks like they're working the perimeter. Good defense is uh, Winnebago Indians. 12 seconds left. Looks like they're going to go for the last shot. Yep. Got to play fourth defense. place. Seven. Drives in the lane and Five, gets it to go. Four, Number three, one. Two. Little. Here it is. Look, right here. Barrage. Oh. Mm. Air ball. All right, folks, we are at halftime. You're calling overtime. You're I'm calling, calling overtime. overtime. And, and look, right now, Winnebago only down by one, 18 to 19. I mean, that's a good possibility. We can go into overtime. Let's go. I say, what did I say? 47, 46, yep. something like that. Um, yeah, I think second half, both both teams, and especially Res Ball, uh, usually are second half teams. All they're doing is getting warmed up now. So I think in the second half, we might see a lot, uh, a lot more. Uh, 
a lot more shots made from the three and taken to the hole. Yeah, we have halftime replays. Uh, so those, this replay here is from the first and second quarter as uh, we are going to do a station identification. Go ahead, do give us the station identification. The station identification, we are FM 100.9 on your dial, the KWTN. We're the official radio station of the Winnebago Tribe in Nebraska, and the tower is located in Allen, Nebraska. Hey, uh, we had a good couple of shows last night. Uh, me and Bethany and crew, the DJs, were in the studio. Yep. DJ Blue did the Friday Night Hot Mix, kind of mashed up everything from the 60s all the way up to today's hits. And then we had Midnight Love with MCBKC. It was a good time. Make sure you join her, uh, DJ Bessemi. ARL plays on Thursdays from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. If you have a request or want to send a shout-out to any of your honeys or your bass, I didn't know. Bays. Did you know Bay stands for before everyone else? No. I, I did not know that, bro. I thought it was a short term for Bay. Yeah, that's what I said, man. Yeah. That is weird. So I'm getting schooled myself and learning a lot. But And then uh, make sure you join Coach Q for Big Voice Sports, a native perspective. A native perspective on Wednesdays at 5 o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, join us while we're in the studio. Yeah. And we're talking sports, you know. Yeah. Um, a lot of times, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be sitting around um, at lunch with buddies or, or uh, go golfing or something like that, and then we get to talk sports. But, you know, we took it to another level. Not Now we get to talk sports on the radio. And we have uh, we have a, a – See, hold I, on for a second. I'm not just here. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, Willie, uh, Willie with uh, Ho-Chunk and uh, – what is it? Community Impact Engagement Team. Yeah. They're thanking the crowd and everybody for showing up and. So I got schooled here. I even I even messed that bay up. Okay. Oh. So I, I thought it was before everyone else or anyone else. <laughs> everyone else. Dang, boy. Anyone? Okay, I'm getting it right here, man. I, I apologize. <laughs> he just ruined it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just ruined it. But we're talking about sports here. No, yeah. Well, we we talked about a lot of sports, and you know, one hey, one thing I wanted to mention right now, because I'm gonna bring it up on Wednesday, is that uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna be making some moves in the real near future about boxing here in Winnebago. I mean, boxing is um, has always been. Uh, here in Winnebago, mm -hmm. it's been it's been present here in Winnebago, but we nobody's ever taken it to a new level, you know. And that's what we want to try to do. We're gonna try to join forces with the public school, the Boys and Girls Club, Whirling Thunder, and then a lot of volunteer um, staff that uh, that want to make a difference here in Winnebago. I think we can say that, that you know within a year or two we can have official uh, fights here. The fights here in Winnebago, right here in this gymnasium. You know, bringing the bringing the ring and have our own our own fights, and maybe we can get a champion out of this town. It's one of the things that we're going to be talking about on Wednesday, along with uh, talking about this Pine Ridge game, talking about the Bancroft game, uh, and then uh, then the wrestling program has been doing wonders. I believe uh, I was watching a match earlier on on uh, the phone with Coach Bear. Uh, his niece, Avani Wilkie, which is she, I believe she's the third ranked wrestler in her class or in her weight class in the state of Nebraska. And she was wrestling today, uh, dominating again. There you go. Congratulations to the lady wrestlers. That's a good time. And I know that uh, they came up, they would like uh, some more support. So if you have an opportunity and you don't know anything about wrestling, um, it's pretty exciting, guys. I mean, they have what they call the heartbreak round. Uh, we went down there when the ladies made the state tournament, and they said that uh, it's going to double in size this year. Yeah. And uh, we have a, a ranked state champion in our arsenal for the Winnebago Indians. So good yeah. job, Lady Indians, as well as the fellas. I believe they, they got a name for them. I forgot what their wrestling name was well, I think, for the program. I think the, the, the younger program, the, the the development program that they're starting, they're called the Scouts. Oh, okay, yeah. And, right. I, and, and anybody out there that has more information about the Scouts wrestling program, please give me a call or shoot me a message in, in uh, Facebook Messenger and uh, fill me in on what's going on with the wrestlers because not only do I want to know about it, I want to help recruit. So anybody know anything about the the, um, the youth wrestling program, please get a hold of me. All right. We would like to invite you folks. Uh, for those that are going to be tuning in, we're about five minutes away until some action here. We do have some graphics that we're going to bring up. So the first graphic is make sure you join us for Winnebago Talks. That's going to be happening on Tuesdays. It's always a good time. We have some good episodes that we feature. And uh, DJ Bessie, myself, I, I get to host that show. And one of the flagship shows of The Big Voice. And uh, this week we are going to feature a couple things. And 
So make sure you join in. Circle it on your calendar every Tuesday at 11 a.m. We have the last Bear Moon celebration that's going to be taking place over at One of Vegas. If you haven't made plans, make sure you go check that out. Saturday, Saturday February 25th, 2023 at the One of Vegas Event Center in Salon, Iowa. Starting off with a 1 p.m. grand entry. Q, you're going to go over there and sing with White Taylor? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love sitting down around the big drum with uh, my White Taylor brothers. Uh, my digga Tim, mm -hmm. Tim Grant, you know, he, he's been a singer for decades and decades. And Yeah, one of know, the knowledge holders. Yes, he's uh, he's he taught me a lot, of not only about uh, uh, sitting around that big drum and, and what that what all goes along with that, but he taught me about uh, uh, a lot of Omaha songs that, uh, that I wanted to learn for my kids, you know. So. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. We also want to thank our sponsors. We appreciate the sponsors. Without them, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. And uh, with the bringing in the crew, so thank you especially. Adam Tramner is uh, one of the assistant athletic directors, yeah. and Mr. Adam James is your yes. athletic director for the Winnebago Public School. And so thank you to TV Customs, Ho Chunk Incorporated, Ho Chunk Farms, Native Star Casino, Big Time Al Cleaning LLC, Iron Horse Casino, and Avery Brothers. Hey, Garen, I want to give a shout out. I, I, I think one of the things that we that we do that we like to do is a shout out you know to people uh, doing things uh, doing good things in their communities you know yep. and uh, you know you just not give a shout out to big time cleaning LLC uh, my 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 sunny boy my nephew Christian Lapointe uh, owns that company and uh, today you know today even they, they work this morning and they, and they work tonight but during the daytime what uh, big time cleaning uh, owner Chris Lapointe and one of his workers, Cedric Blackhawk, they are actually coaching my Warpath team or our our Warpath team up in North Sioux, South Dakota right now um, with our youth teams. They uh, they have uh, been doing a lot of good things in our community, um, not only being an entrepreneur and uh, being an example for our young kids, but also uh, passing on some basketball knowledge to those guys. So shout out to uh, Big Time LLC and their um, workers there. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Cedric. And thank you guys for sponsoring today's stream. Yeah. I know it. it uh, we want to give them a shout out for sure. So good job on that one. So let's talk about a little the game here. Uh, for the Thorps, number 15 has nine points, and that's pretty big as uh, he kind of leads the score for the Thorps, and that is Jalen. And for the Winnebago Indians, number double zero, Blackfish has 13 points. Yeah, 13 of 18. I mean, for real, like, you know, I've seen a game, I don't know if I said this on, on live stream before, but I've seen a game when uh, Duran Blackfish was in eighth grade. He scored 62 points in a league game. Wow. And, and it wasn't just like like cherry picking layups. Yeah. I'm talking, they were in transition threes and there's a lot of threes, you know, he's a, he's a shooter. Yeah. And what, you know, you, it's hard to kind of cool him off. So um, good job by Duran by being aggressive on offense today, knowing that they're playing good defense on Dami. Hey, know? Q, I got a question for you. Yeah. Do you, are you surprised by that score? Is it low Actually, in your eye? Yeah, I was thinking about that in the first half. I was thinking, you know, well, that first quarter was a was a feel out round, you know. Yeah. And then I thought, okay, second half, come on, everybody's gonna be bombing. Yeah. And then it's really not. I mean, you're you're on potential to score what 36 to 38 right now. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. So so it's got to be the defense. The, the we defense. were expecting a lot of uh, back and forth scoring. Yeah. And it's just the opposite. Yeah, but really. In some of those boxing matches, that's what you expect. They're just going to be, it's just going to be an all-out slugfest, and they kind of come out and a lot of defense that, is shown. Yeah, exactly. Like, hey, you know, just like Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather he he wins with his defense. He yeah. goes scores points, and then he plays D. He right. goes scores a couple points, then he plays D. I mean, that's 18 to 19 right now. You remember I, Martin Lawrence when he did his uh, boxing? He said, one thing about Martin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you won't be able to hit him. Yeah. And he ain't hitting anybody because yeah. all he does is run. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he ain't hitting anybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So here we go, folks. We said to buckle in your seatbelt, but we have to admire tonight's <laughs> defensive game by both teams. Yeah. As Barrage usually is up there. And uh, I know that um, what are the Winnebago Indians Lovejoy is not around here tonight. So yeah, he's down in his civvies down here. Oh, okay. Cheering down here, his cheerleading gear down here. Gotcha. But he's down here supporting his his brothers down here, making sure that they know that he's here. Here we go. Third quarter underway right here in Winnebago. Who's going to come away with the win here? Yeah, if you guys have a final prediction, let us know as you have two more quarters to get it right. So it looks like a yeah, it looks like Pine Ridge come out. 
coaches must have told them to settle down and run their offense a little bit, and so they did. They come on and ran their offense, and uh, unfortunately got turned the ball over real quick. All right, Barrage and Little Blackfish brings the ball up for the Winnebago Indians. LaPointe calls for the screen, sets the screen. Blackfish is double teamed. Oh, good hustle play by both the Thorpes and the Indians. You said you were admiring his defensive work for yeah. a little, right? Yeah, he's he's a he's a good. Oh, that's defender. Eagle. Excuse me, Eagle number number zero. Yeah, yeah. he's he's uh he reminds me of uh, Marcus Smart, my favorite defender on a Boston Celtics team. He uh, he gets into your space, you know. Hollow horn over to Steele, back over to Eagle. Eagle squares up for a three. Oh, to top it off to start the Thorpes in the scoring. And the Thorpes gained the lead, 22 to 18. Here comes Barrage. Ooh, the Thorpes bench is hollering out defense. Yeah, then the fan faithful that made yeah. the trip. The, the faithful fans that made the trip, they're, they're here watching the Thorpes. They're rooting the Thorpes on. Okay, so Eagle and Blackfish. Blackfish takes the ball over to LaPointe. LaPointe, top of the key, on over to Tebow. Oh, man, it looked good from here, but hits the front of the rim. Thorpes are in their fast break. Hollahorn can't get it to go. Jalen almost has the rebound. Baseball pass over to Barrage. Barrage has numbers. Good pass by Barrage to Vargas. Nice left hand finish by Vargas for the bounce pass from Barrage with another assist. Travel. Yeah, he just one little step right there. I seen it. You know, we, we talked about that right there earlier with Coach yeah. Means about uh, about those little things, those the take care of the basketball. He was talking about it. The only thing wrong with our team is we got to take care of the basketball. Then we just said talking about jump stops, and that was the perfect example of what we're talking about. You know, those jump stops could be so huge in the game. All right, Barrage gets the ball. Blackfish inbounds it. Steele is on Barrage, and they're keeping Barrage's numbers down. Usually he's uh, one of the top scorers for the Winnebago Indians. Blackfish drives the lane, takes on three defenders, can't get it to go. Rebound by the Thorpes. Here comes fast break. Hollerhorn on over to number 15, and a foul is called on the Winnebago Indians. So Jalen to the line. Number five of the Winnebago Indians have three personal fouls, and that is Vargas. Remember we talked about foul trouble? Yeah. Coach Bear yeah. might bring him out, and he does. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Coach Bear doing an excellent job. First year coaching the boys, many years coaching the Lady Indians. Yeah. You know, Coach Bear, he spent... Well, he spent a couple years coaching the Lady Indians, and he spent most of the time his, when he first started coaching with the uh, Pee Wee football and uh, Pee Wee basketball. And some of his t players right now are seniors this year on this team, so. For sure. And uh, I would imagine he helps out with TB Customs, one of our sponsors. So shout out to TB Customs and crew. As Barrage works the top of the key, drives a lane, three defenders, loses the handle. Good hustle play by the Thorpes. Last touched by could be anybody's. Could be anybody's. So there's Tebow off hit the deck and uh, he touched it last. Went out of bounds. The Thorpes come away with the ball. Winnebago in a kind of a full court. Yeah, it looks like they're in a diamond and one press right now. Looking Blackfish to, looking to slow Pine Ridge up, but it doesn't work out. Press broken real quick. Ooh, 24 with a good spin move for the Thorpes. That's Jensen. Gives him a six-point lead now. Jensen is kind of heating up. He only has four points so far, but uh, yes. Coach Bear, down by six, calls a timeout. Hey, third quarter, coming back into it, and you kind of have some momentum as the Winnebago Indians do. Are they flat? It kind of seems like it a little bit because it's been about two, two and a half minutes into this third quarter. I believe the, the score was what? It was 19 to, or 17? 19 to 18. 19 to 18. So like, you know, six, seven points for Pine Ridge to our two points. And uh, I hope they're talking about how we can control the basketball a little bit better because 
you know, we we let Pine Ridge score a couple of easy buckets and yeah. stuff like that. You know, that was a good shot there. It was. Like, come on, yeah. Right, right in there. It was like we're in the huddle. <laughs> I should have, I should have seen our uh, red tra uh, Coach Bear's lips and told you what he was saying there. If you were coaching down there, what would you say to him? I'd play, let's go. That's all I'd say is, let's go. <laughs> and they'd already know. Yeah, what about just need to pick up the pick up their defense and take care of the basketball on offense? I mean, it is tough to take care of the basketball when you got uh, good defenders like these guys. But hey, what I always say about that is you just gotta set better screens. Your teammates gotta set better screens so you can free you up. All right, here comes Blackfish on over to Barrage. Barrage can drive the lane, pulls up, two points, no good. Last touch by Lapointe of the Winnebago Indians. Oh, Thorpe. Yeah, on that, on rebounds like that, you know, I know the point was he saw one of his teammates out there tip it out to, but I mean, if you, if you could put your fingers on the ball to do that, you might as well just grab it. Oh, nice inside move there. Who he thought about going, it and yeah. went in the air. Nice hops there. Hey, Barrage, one big Indians come up with a rebound. On over to LaPointe. LaPointe's going to drive. Almost loses it. Still has his pivot foot. Barrage. Trying to get something going here for our offensive. Yes. Blackfish pulls up for three. Oh, three points by Blackfish. He's still hot. He's still hot. Here comes the Thorps. Man, they are fast. Good yeah. transitional play they, there. They didn't give Winnebago a, even a chance to try to celebrate from that last score right there. And I what? believe they did take advantage because Blackfish got knocked down on that three. And while he was trying to get up and stuff like that, one of the guys beat him down court and got Got the foul. All right, number 15 to the line, Jalen. See how he does. I think he missed one, made one, and he misses. So 23, one at Bago, and first time substitution here. Number 23 for the Thorps is going to have a seat. And first time action here for number 55, who is Clayton Apple, 6'5", senior. And a wide body. So LaPointe is going to have... A tall order to take on that 6-5. Oh, and he out-rebounds him. There, there you go. go. Good call, Garen. See, Coach Means uh, going back and forth, pacing, showing the emotions of his game here. All right, Barrage, top of the key. Oh. Takes on two defenders. And a foul is going to be called on number 15, Jalen. That is his third personal foul. Third personal. Carnes inbounds the play. Barrage calls to, for his team to move out of the way. Shoots a two, can't get it to go. Air ball. Here come the Thorps. Fast break for the Thorps. Number 15 drives the lane. And one. Carnes with the foul. Man. Yeah, what a big of forcing shots in the last couple possessions. Not whipping the ball around, trying to find an open shot. It's kind of hard to get those, uh, make buckets when you when you're defended by two or three people. Yep. And when Jalen. Big, when a big has got to uh, pull that off, uh, pull the ball back and run some offense a little bit. All right. So last time he was to the line, he missed his first shot. See if he can complete the three-point play. At the end, first one shot. is complete. Yep. Barrage to Tebow. Oh, full court. Look at that defense there by Thorps. Tebow on over to LaPointe, gets blocked. Ooh. Steal with a block. Yeah, looks like, looks like uh, HCI is giving out the remainder of their walking tacos. Blackfish, and one. There you go. Three points. And the bucket, and wow. Blackfish continues to be hot. Did we get that replay or no? Let's check that one out if we can. Oh, yeah, we just missed it. All right, Blackfish to the line. He's a good free throw. There you go. All right, Winnebago only down by two points now. On a run. Back and forth action here. Run. They're kind of opening up the uh, the scoring. Oh, oh almost a That could have been for anybody. Apple, LaPointe, Apple loses the handle. Travel. And the travel is called by the referees. You know what we call that, Garen? That's the pull the chair from all underneath you defense. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a good, it's a good old school move. 
Nobody does that anymore. <laughs> I used to do that to my older brother all the time. He used to get mad at me. Baird inbounds the play on and over to Blackfish. Blackfish with, with a 20 piece right now, uh, halfway through the and third he's quarter. For Carnes for three. In and out. <sighs> Thorpes with the rebound. Fast break. Here comes the Thorpes. Jalen pulls up for three. Oh, Thorpes. Barrage. Here comes that fast paced res ball as Barrage just is going to slow it down a little bit. He has two defenders on him. They're trying to trap him. They can't get the trap set. LaPointe for three. Air ball. And here comes the Thorpes. Thorpes are on a run. 5 0 run here. Number 24, top of the key, tries to get it down to Apple. LaPointe defended him, gets the, gets the steal. Good to go. Yeah, I think they need to keep the ball in Blackfish's hands for now. Yep. He's been doing a, a lot of good things with the basketball. Not oh, Eagle, just as you say just that, Eagle kind of helps out. I need to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so momentum swift changed here in the third quarter for the Thorpes. What are you seeing so far, Coach Q? Oh, man, you know, I've seen some good hustle by both teams, some good hustle by both teams. And after I just now got done saying that we need to have Blackfish bring the ball up, um, good defense by Pine Ridge and get the ball out of his hands, you know. Uh, but I need to rephrase what I was saying earlier about that. I think Barrage and Blackfish need to just help each other. Just yeah. help each other bring the ball up, help each other uh, uh, take care of the basketball. Don't just rely on one to be dribbling around and, and all that kind of stuff. No, help each other out, pass back and forth. You have two you have two young men up there yeah. that have high, high basketball IQs, and there's no reason why you shouldn't utilize both those boys' IQs. Hey, Coach Q, man, I got to say, it is loud in here. Yes. Both cheerleaders are doing an excellent job. And we can hear Coach Means from up here. Oh, nice. Yeah, he is literally like, uh, so we want to say thank you to all the fans from both sides. And those that are watching on the YouTube, we want to shout out you folks for joining us here this evening. As uh, we have a great game. This is a good reservation game here by the Pine Ridge Thorpes from Pine Ridge, South Dakota. This one is probably going to go down to the books. Yeah, hey, what do you think of the, the shooting shirts by Pine Ridge? They got the Thorpes on there, and they have a picture of Jim Thorpe on there. Yeah. Hey, uh, anybody from Pine Ridge that has a double X of those shooting hoodies, Coach Q wants one of those. Yeah, you give him a Warpath, war uh, kind of do that I'll, jersey yeah, swap? I'll do, I'll do a jersey swap. If I can get one of those one of those uh, Thorpes shooters, I got a Warpath shirt on right now. I'll oh! Off the glass from the corner. Four three for the Thorpes, and he has a 20 piece for his team. They're going back and forth. Here goes Blackfish on Owen over. So one of Bago. I think Coach Bear told him to take smart shots. Bear to get the double team, passes it off. Here comes Vargas. Vargas nice has the lane. Nice. nice take by Vargas. He saw that happening. Yep. And attacked it right away. All right. Karn's trying to spark his team, trying yeah. to be up Eagle. Yeah. Steal. Down, down by six. He just got to play D. That's another travel. Oh, Apple with the foul. And yeah, Tebow, he has some height on him. Yeah. Kevin Tebow, like I said earlier, he's about 6'2, 6'3. I think they got him 6'2 in the books, but. Wingspan, though. Yeah, you know, his wingspan. wingspan makes you can him see it a lot here. taller, you know. Yep. And sometimes I just I always wish that that means that the kids are still growing, you know, because. <clears throat> here comes Apple for his first shot. It is hits the back iron. Yeah, misses dude. his free throw. Coach Means kind of tells him to bend his knees a little bit. Yeah, Tebow, if you can see him stand, just standing there with his hands down to his side, his fingers almost touch his ankles. Cheek. <laughs> no, but here we go right here. I would I would have Tebow attack the basket or Vargas attack the basket right there. Yep. Vargas working his man. He almost loses it, it. On over to Tebow. Tebow on the wing. He wants it again. Tebow gets double team, passes it off to Barrage. Barrage gets double team. They're Somebody trying to open. set that Somebody's trap open. on him. Yeah. And uh, here we go. They let them go. So Barrage drives the lane. Little jump shot, can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound, up for two, Barrage. 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Five-point game, guys. Five Here we point go. Game. Thorpes win their fast break. Drives the lane, nice pass to Apple. 
Can't get it to go. A little too strong. He thought he was probably going to get contact. Jalen for three. He was hot. Good rebound. Good position there by Vargas. He looked up. They didn't call over the back. Foul on that one. Barrage. Trying to work it down low. Here comes Blackfish. Can't leave him open. He's been Jabs hot. Oh, nice. Look, nice. Takes it to the hoop. Oh, yeah. And good draw. Good foul's going to be on Jalen, who I think has uh, – how many fouls does he have, Q? He looks up there. Uh, looks like four. three right now. But if, th if that's his four, that could be something Winnebago is going to take advantage of and an yeah. attack. He's their top attack scorer. number 15. So it looks like uh, Coach Means has a decision to make here with 20 seconds left. Yeah, because if you look up there, he's got 20 points. Yep. The, the rest of the team has, has 16 points. Blackfish has 21 points and no fouls. Wow. Play of the game. Oh, here you go. Speaking of player of the game, here comes number 24, Rockman Free Bass into the game. <laughs> Subs in for Vargas. And Blackfish is good at the free throw line. Right. Makes it a three-point game, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. 18 seconds. Thorpes, fast break. On over to number 11. Squares up. Passes it on over to Jalen. He's still in the game. Three right, points right. for the Thorpes. Wow. 39-33, Winnebago. Four, Barrage has the ball. Three, Passes it on over two, to Carnes. One. Carnes for three. Wow. What a game. What a game, Garen. Man. We only got a six-point game. It was just a three-point game. Yeah. We're moving right here into the – we're moving right in here to the fourth quarter. Coach Means, you can hear him from up here, folks. I mean, if he gets uh, – he's really telling his team to stick with it. Coach Bear sensing a little urgency, but Bearage, Blackfish, all those guys can get hot. We've seen Vargas. Yeah. You know, the, what we're looking for in, in this fourth quarter is we're looking for Winnebago to step up their defense, step up to another, the next level type defense, you know. Yeah. I mean, only being down six, you really just got to chip away at it. But, but I think, you know, fourth quarter, I don't think the Thorps are going to just lay down and let these guys come back and win. You know, they're going to have to work for it. So, yeah, we're going to see... We're going to see fourth quarter res ball here now, ladies and gentlemen. It might not be as, uh, as, uh, probably as aggressive and as active. They might start playing, yeah. uh, you know, possession after possession, after possession and set up the half-court offense and may, maybe come down to a, a three, uh, free throw game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Hey, Coach Q, uh, just real quick here. We want to send our condolences. I did talk to Lorelai Decora, Secretary Decora, yes. and she mentioned that uh, Casey was coming down. Casey, and uh, as you know, uh, rest in peace, Faith Means, yeah. and Amani uh, was here and stuff. And I uh, just want to send our condolences, and I know that uh, she will be forever missed. And I know that Lorelai and uh, our prayers are with her and uh, her family as well as the Means family. Yeah. So uh, Casey, he, he couldn't make it back, but uh, nonetheless, he's here today in Winnebago and doing a great job of coaching. So. Yeah. Yeah, I know he got to spend um, some time with his relatives uh, last night and then today. So yeah. I know that he's feeling a lot better being around them. So, uh, yeah, uh, our hearts and prayers go out to the Means family uh, and then all the extended relatives here in Winnebago and up in the Dakotas. For sure. Uh -oh, uh -oh. 39-33. This is the last quarter, maybe. If we go into overtime, we'll find out here as Winnebago needs to get a defensive stop. Jalen drives the lane, draws contact. And the foul is going to be called on number two of the Winnebago Indians. That is Vargas. No, excuse me, Tebow. Yeah, Tebow, number two. And picks up his third foul right now. Seven minutes and 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. This is anybody's game, G. Yeah, Jalen has been kind of iffy at the free throw line. But fourth quarter, that when they count, uh, you know, he makes his free throw. Yep, yep. You know, I, I believe that uh, Coach Means was talking about this young man right here, Jalen. Uh -huh. And uh, he said he's got he's got a lot of heart. He gives it everything he's got every game, you know. So, yeah, he does have four fouls. So, audience, make sure you watch that as Blackfish drives, tries to beat his man. Winnebago sets up their offense. Lapointe calls for the ball, doesn't get it. So Baird comes. Baird's been kind of quiet, but he kind of could heat up. Off the front iron, didn't get to go. Good rebound by Lapointe for two. Nice cleanup by Lapointe. Nice cleanup, Timmy. Here we go. Thorpe's going to set up their offense. Now, Winnebago is trying to stop Jalen. As you can see, Baird is on him. 
Drive in the lane, and Steele pulls up for two. Can't get it to go. Rebound by the Winnebago Indians here to see if Winnebago Indians can go on a 4-0 four, four run. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier about Tebow and uh, LaPointe needing to be the rebounders. They need to be the rebounders on this team. The Thorps have been looking for that trap all night long on Barrage. They finally got it, and uh, Barrage calls a timeout. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, that the coaches allow Barrage to kind of make decisions like that, too, instead of waiting for them to call a timeout. He's a smart kid. He's got a good IQ. He knew he needed help on that one, and hey, the best thing to do is call a timeout so you don't lose possession of the ball. Yeah, so Winnebago Indians need to pick up their defensive game and also need to keep up with some points here. So they're in a good predicament. 35-41, I think you predicted 70. You think we're going to hit that mark? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so, but I think uh, it's going to stay close. It's going to stay close, I and mean, I really just just – because I'm a fan of the game, yeah. I really hope it goes uh, all the way down to the wire. Yeah. And I, I really hope it goes to making free throws mm -hmm. or even uh, making a like something, something like a buzzer beater, you know. Okay. Let, let one of these young men remember this game for a reason for yeah. the rest of their life, you know. We are looking for the player of the game. They get a big boys t-shirt, so on both teams. We yeah. want to give one to the Winnebago Indians as well as I think TB Customs does also the player of the game as well. Yeah. And so we appreciate them as uh, you guys can start. We're in the fourth quarter. Start marking your case. Plead your case. Let us know who do you think should be player of the game. We have one for Jalen. Yeah, Jalen has got 25 points right now. Um, and then on the other side, you know, Blackfish got 22. So those are my lead candidates right now at this moment with six and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. All right, down low. Nice move there by Good shot Tebow. by Tebow. Turn around, jump shot. 37-41. Wow. You know, just that, just that play right there alone on, on Tebow. Steal wide open for three. Gets it to go. Man, they were keying in on number 15, Jalen, and left steal number 11 wide open. Blackfish drives the top of the key. Good defense by Thorpes. Good time. Ball movement by the Winnebago Indians. Here comes the screen by LaPointe. You know, myself, I, I say they get the ball down, down low to Tebow again. He, it looked like it was kind of a little effortless the yeah. last time he hit that shot. So Ooh, nice spin move there by Oh, La nice point. Kinger, point. Good little, good little spin move by Lapointe yeah. on the baseline. He kind of even protected the basketball with that double pump. Uh, didn't get the shot blocked, but he almost made it. Yeah, but didn't. So let's knock down these two free throws, Timmy. All right, so he's to the line. It's a shooting foul. Free throws in the fourth quarter. More than ever to try to get into that lead there. there 38-44, the Thorps are up as substitutions by the Thorps. Yeah, six-point game, so that's how this uh, fourth quarter started off as a six-point game, so it's been pretty even so far. I want to give one quick shout-out to the Winnebago boys wrestling team who just now uh, blessed us with their presence after their meet there. I think they, they had yeah, a meet they came somewhere. By. Yep, for sure. Good job, guys. All right, here we go, Thorps. 44 points they put up so far. A lot of them coming in by number 15, Jalen, who has the ball right now. He passes it off to number one, drives the lane, and uh, draws contact by Vargas. Vargas has how many fouls there, Q? That might be his fourth. Third or fourth. His fourth foul there, Vargas with four. One of the starters for the one Winnebago Indians. Yeah, when I... When I see uh, our starters, you know, get into foul trouble, then I, I look down at our reserves and um, I look at the boys that are down here right now, our reserves, and these guys are all on a T-shirt. Oh. These, these young guys, they, they got their own T-shirt, uh -huh. uh, and they're called the the bench mob. And so when these when they all get in the game, uh, these youngsters, uh, they they all cheer bench mob for them. So. Oh, okay. oh, these guys got a good Re rebound. Offensive rebound. There good block go. there by the Winnebago Indians. Drives it. Number two, coast to coast. Oh! Can't get it to go. Here comes the Thorps in their fast break. Good transition here. Jalen for three. Oh, my goodness. 28 for Jalen. Wow. Barrage. Barrage has five points. He's going to get double teamed. They're trying to set that trap on him. Passes it off to Blackfish. Blackfish is also probably going to get double team. 
Good defense by the Thorps. You can't deny that. Blackfish almost loses it, puts it up, gets blocked. Here comes the Thorps. Fast break. And uh, Jalen can't get it to go. Good rebound there by Carnes. Looked like over the back, loses it. Number 24 draws the lane. LaPointe with the block down there and gets it to Barrage. Barrage passes it out to Blackfish. Blackfish pulls up for three. Nice jump stop. Can't get it to go. Man, almost. Yeah. You know, sometimes we get caught watching this game. Garen, I get caught watching this game. We I'm got glad, you, Q. I'm glad you're doing play-by-play. -play. We got you, Q. You know, and, and I, I, I kind of get excited up here sometimes when I see good things happening for uh, for these young men, you know, out here playing this game. And so, uh, yeah, good time I'll call. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Uh, hey. A lot of time. Yeah. A lot of time. Hey, so. I want to give a shout-out to my uh, – my baby girl, my day one, Kiara Ashley Bass. I see you're watching on the live stream, babe. Uh, root for the end is going big blue. So Winnebago down by, what is it, nine? Down by nine. Down by nine. You know, with four minutes left, that's that's a lot of time left. You just got to get stops. Like, like uh I like to tell the kids, you know, especially on the offense, on the defensive end, you know, hey, right now is where you come together. Yeah. On the offensive side, it's okay. Whatever happens, happens on the offensive side. But on the defensive side, you have to make stops. Yeah. You have to make stops, and then so every possession, you got to join together as, as as five boys as one and stop them from scoring. Here we go, Thorpe's down low to Jalen. Jalen draws contact, loses it. Lapointe with a good rebound. And sends it out to Blackfish here. Let's see if the Winnebago can come away with some points on this possession. Use your screams. The point, top of the key. On over to Blackfish. Winnebago kind of content just to. Oh, okay. Send it down low. Nice pass. Bounce pass there to La Point. Yeah, Tebow with a good bounce pass. Got it to go. Now let's see if the Winnebago Indians can get a stop as the clock goes down. So it looks like a uh, referee timeout. When that happens, I used to um, do commentary for the Little Priest games. Yeah. And it got yeah, unplugged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's like, hey, who's <laughs> kids there? Hey. Yeah. So I'm sure the Pine Ridge Thorps are, you know. Um, but that's part of being uh, the house advantage. No. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, you know, <laughs> As the you, know come in. you know, during the Super Bowl back in the day when the Saints were playing, Beyonce went and did her halftime show. Yeah. All the electricity went out. Yeah. And then the, the momentum changed, and then the Saints came back and won. That's what I'm talking about. That's what this thing's about, right? It takes a minute for them to. Uh, nonetheless, <laughs> we want to do a shout out to our sponsors once again. So let's bring that graph up. We appreciate uh, DJ Bessemi. This is Bethany Redhorn. She's producing today's show. But once again, thank you to our sponsors Stage Center Identification, KWTN 100.9 FM, the official radio station of the Winnebago Tribe. You are listening to the big voice in Allen, Nebraska. Avery Brothers, appreciate you guys. Iron Horse Casino, TB Customs, Big Time Cleaning, LLC, Ho Chunk Incorporated, Ho Chunk Farms, and Native Star Casino as they are still working on the clocks here, folks. So uh, just kind of give you an update for those who are watching on YouTube. Yep. Want to give a shout out to our camera operating crew, those that are joining us for today's session. We have Trisha Eschinger. We also have Billy Decora, who gave us those uh, keys to victory. Mm -hmm. Do you think his keys to victory are helping out? Yeah, yeah. He's staying really focused. And uh, producing today's show is uh, Bethany. Coach Q commentating. Gentry Saints here. Camera ops. Man, we'll be back in action on Tuesday right here for the Panthers come to town from Bancroft Rosalie. Yes. Yeah. Snyder's Pub. Hey, uh, Winnebago and Bancroft are actually battling out right now up at, uh, up at uh, uh, North Sioux. They're the eighth grade division. They're battling right now. Okay. Eighth grade Warpath against Bancroft eighth grade. All right, so folks, this is getting really close here. Make sure we said it in the beginning, buckle in your seatbelt, but we're ready. Thorpes has the ball. On over to number 24, drives base. Oh, he gets blocked. Barrage comes away with it. Barrage loses it, kicks it back to the Thorpes. Thorpes, fast break, back to Jalen. He's been hot. Number one for a three. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Carnes. Carnes over to Blackfish. To Barrage. Good Barrage job. drives the lane. Nice step there. And what was that? 
Looks like a foul on the drive. Ooh, two shots on the shot, looks like. He called a foul on number 24. Picks up his second foul. And means, uh, Coach Means, pleading his case. <laughs> So yeah. stops the action, stops the clock. The clock is back on to this, for everybody's uh, knowledge. As Barrage goes to the line, he has five points. Make that six. First shot is good. Down by six points, Winnebago is. All right, they got, Winnebago's got a decent crew that's in the game right now. Uh, here, a little past the midway point of the fourth quarter here. Baird's second shot is good. Go. He's good from the free throw line. It's a five-point game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. So here goes Steele for the Thorps. Back oh. over to Eagle. To number one. Slows the tempo down a little bit. Oh, nice move by number one. Pass. 24 for three. Can't get it to go. Eagle with the rebound. Loses it. Timeout. Blackfish dives on the floor. And I'm not sure what it was called there. Timeout. Wow. Yeah, Blackfish dove on the floor on that loose ball, grabbed and Hey, every single possession is important right now. So Yeah. Do you know how many timeouts uh, Winnebago has left? I, I believe you get six a game. Okay. You get, I think you get a 30 in the first and a 30 in the first half, 30 in the second half, and then you get two and two. Okay. Pretty okay. sure that's how it is. So, so I think what kind of, the, as it comes down to this here, timeouts are a factor. So I'm, so, I'm sure Coach Bear is letting them know. Look at you. Yeah, for oh, sure. Coach Bear is down there drawing it up right there. Yeah, that's the play I'll draw up, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> the exact same one I draw. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're up here, huh? Keith? I know, right? <laughs> No, but this is an exciting game. The girls' game was exciting. Um, you know, congratulations to the Lady Indians for their win earlier. Uh, it was a tough, a tough fought battle, and the Winnebago <laughs> girls got the dub, so we're good. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, that's Coach Q. <laughs> that's how you do it, right there, man. That's how you get your team back in the game, man. Yeah. Y'all need to join in. <laughs> All right, Winnebago, let's go, fellas. Yeah, Winnebago has got some momentum. See what happens here. Blackfish to inbound the play. Every possession crucial at this moment in the, the game. Blackfish on over to Barrage. Clock is ticking, 2.55 left in regulation. Eagle is on Barrage. Good defensive and offensive. Barrage just kind of works the ball back and forth, doing some dribbling. Blackfish almost loses it, drives the lane. He's Reach. on the wing. Oh, nice pass. Can't get it to go. Man, Tebow almost had it. Tebow gets it again and in for two. Winnebago Indians. 44 47. Thorpe still have the lead. Full court press going on by, full court man by the Winnebago Indians. Winnebago fan faithful come to their feet as the roars of defense throughout the stadium. Steele on over to Eagle. Thorpe, Steele wide open. Oh, he's wide open down yeah. here. Number 24. Oh my goodness. Eagle drives the lane, number 24. They're good kind D, of content good D, good to D, good D. work the clock oh, oh, a little oh, oh. bit. Carnes, oh! For two. Let's go! Defense! Momentum on Winnebago's side as the Carnes fans come to their huge. feet. Eagle gets double teamed. Back to the Thorps. 130. So the Thorps are probably trying to slow it down here. They don't necessarily need a bucket. Nice move there by the Eagle. Good screen on that baseline right there. Minute and a half left, ladies and gentlemen, and we're right here. 46 49. Barrage on over to Blackfish. Blackfish together, was together. looking for LaPointe. Use you your mentioned uh, in your keys to victory, be vocal. Barrage for three. Oh! Eagle with the Ooh. foul. And that is a three point foul as he picks up Four. his third. Wow. Hey, man. Okay, so Barrage is. Uh I'm not sure what his things. I'm not even gonna talk about what he's shooting. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, don't, I ain't jinxing no one. Uh, YouTube is exploding with viewers. Oh, we're, YouTube we're almost is, up to about 300 right now. Let's go, YouTube. What's up? They said this is a good game. Here we go. First shot. Let's go. All right. Two point game, ladies and gentlemen. So Barrage has the opportunity to tie this up. Such an At exciting game. Who are you going for? Put that. Put that in that that group chat down there. Who are you going for? 
Barrage at the line. Second shot. Off the front iron. <laughs> Timeout called by Means. I'm looking right over at uh, uh, my brother Jeffrey Barrage over there. Uh, how he's reacting over there with his son at, at the line. And he's over there wiping his hands down on his pants. So uh, I know it could be pretty, uh, uh, pretty exciting for the parents out here too. Yeah. Having their kids having to step up like this, you know? Right. We got a good shot of uh, Coach Barrage, Bethany. Yeah, he's a... Uh, so, play of the game. Let's do it. Uh, under oh, two minutes, man. we got player of the game hey, here. Play, player or do you want to hold off until you they might what? go to you overtime? We Remember I said earlier, we might see a buzzer beater. Yeah. Uh, so, But just just so you know, my leader over there. Oh, there you go. There's a shot of Coach Barrage over there and his, his, uh, his wife, Jen, uh, over here cheering her son on. I know he's a... Uh, uh, Barrage is one of the top dogs here in Northeast Nebraska. And his, uh, his parents could be... Is proud over there. And his mom as well, Tierra. Yeah, for sure. And it looks like uh, we have a lot of Thorpe fans as they are chatting on All right. YouTube. So All right. yep. appreciate Thor them. Thorpe fans, let us hear it, guys. Let us hear it on there. You know, Casey Means and uh, uh, his coaching staff are doing an excellent job. Uh, very impressive down here in the land of the Ho Chunk. Land of the Ho Chunk. Like that? <laughs> the land of the Ho Chunk. I have to use that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm Barrage. already trademarked that. You got to pay me when you say that. So Barrage uh, shot a three. He got fouled on that three. He is one and one right now. Missed one. He made one. Here comes a third shot from the. Oh, Thorpe's. Watch his press. 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 Trap. Still. Barnes. And uh, looks like they Look. almost. Oh, oh. Jalen has a lane. Oh. He's dri dribbling on over to number 10. Looked like a travel. They didn't call it. They come away with it. Carnes and Thorpes retain possession. Under a minute, under a minute, y'all. 56 seconds. Oh! Offensive foul, there you go! Let's go! Blackfish Blackfish with the, the big charge. defensive play. Wow. Winnebago only down by one with the ball, with under a minute left. Here we go, 53 seconds yet. So as a coach here, do you Woo! just uh, work it up or do you look to score right away? Uh, I say what, no matter what you do, take care of the basketball. Don't turn the ball over. All right, let's see here. One and one, Coach Manez come out and said, uh, according to his files, it should be a one and one, but we'll see here. Referee timeout. Wow, so Coach Q, 50 seconds left. What do you got, man? Hey, let's go to OT. Oh, Let's yeah. Go to OT. Okay. Yeah, I want to go to OT, guys. Let's not let this day end right now. Yeah, Jalen for the Thorps, their top scorer, has 28 points, but he also has four fouls. So if the Winnebago gets the lead, Coach Means, do you think he starts taking him out and then. No. No? No. Just let him play it out. Yeah, let him play it, man. I mean, what, uh, what's he, uh, 15? Is he a senior? Uh, J uh, Jalen? Jalen? Yeah, you know, he's a, uh, a junior. A junior? I was going to say, if he's a senior, let him go. Okay, so referees are sorting it out down there. We got a good game here. Winnebago down by one. Blackfish inbounds the play to Barrage. 45 seconds left. Take care of the ball, Coach Key says. Barrage drives the lane. He's going to set up his offense. It might go for the last second shot here. 36 seconds. Blackfish has the lane, drives it. Last touch oh, by T-Ball. They got to get up on the ball. Press it, press it, press it and track. 31 seconds. You don't need to foul, though. You don't. You really don't need to foul. You have enough time to put on some defensive pressure and cause a turnover. Here we go. Thorps to inbounds. Carnes. And they have him trapped. Wisely passes it out. Oh, oh look at Carnes. Carnes pull, has 24 pull. seconds. Drives pull. all over to Blackfish. He called a fall okay. down here. All right. He called a fall down here. Good so, hustle, but hey, hey, Cash is Carnes, man. To the line. I'm telling you what, Cash is Carnes defensively uh, stepped up in a lot of games this year. A lot of games this year. And Q, this is his first trip to the line. The first trip to the line. Come on now. Come first on, shot Cash. Here. Come on, Cash. To tie it up for his team. 21 seconds left in regulation. Thorpe's fans. Oh. Oh, he misses it. Can't get it to go. 20 seconds left. Oh, almost. A tr oh, turnover. Turnover. They yeah, got it. T by one. Oh, can't get it to go. They had the chances. Three chances. They had the chances. 
Timeout called by the Forks. 12 seconds left. Three chances, three chances by Winnebago. The, yeah, three chances. Woo. Wow. Oh my goodness. Hey, all three of those shots could have easily went. It yeah. used to be a whole different ball This game place right would have erupted. Oh my gosh. Everybody. Hey, so, the defense has to step up right here. Okay? So, the press that they run, yeah. the press that they run, they should continue on doing that press, but they need to get everybody in position. Because the last, last two or three possessions, when they did press, not everybody was in position. Everybody's still kind of like turning around, trying to figure out where they're going to be. Yeah. Get up there, set your press up. They put the, they put the tall guy probably probably Tebow on the ball, make him throw the ball directly in by the W here, do a quick trap, but somebody has to come back and guard that guy that's coming yeah. from out of bounds because that's where they're going to pass the ball to. And that could be that turnover they need right now. All right, so it comes down to this here. Carnes was at the line. He missed that free throw. Free throw is very important here as, uh, let's see, did they take another timeout? Or? Winnebago's ready, but Coach Means is uh, still us using the heck out of his pad. Yo, he just telling him, don't blow this one. Don't give this one away. Did you see Coach Means? He blew that marker. Like, he literally needed another marker because he hit that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love to see that, that passion. I love to see that passion. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Inbounds play, number 15, Jalen has it. Foul on Blackfish. Foul uh, on. Yep, Blackfish. Good job by getting a quick foul. Only like a tick can went off the clock right now. Yep. That's only Blackfish's first foul, so he's not in no foul trouble at all. Jalen, in the meantime, has leading the scores for his team. He has 28 points. He did miss a couple free throws, so let's see what happens. First free throw is up. No. He missed it. Lane violation by number 15. Yo, this is it, yo. Hey, turn your TVs up, y'all. Turn your TVs up. Turn your radio up. Back and forth action. All the right. first two quarters was a lot of defensive play. Nine seconds. Here we go. Thorpe's had the lead in the third quarter. One to Bago, not giving up. Ten seconds. Eight seconds. Blackfish works it on up. He passes on over to Carnes. Carnes holds it for a second. Shoots a three. Oh, can't get it to go. And that is ball game. Congratulations to the Thorps. Winnebago didn't what make any points at their last five attempts. What a game. What a game. The only thing you say, Garen, is that Winnebago needed a good look on that last shot, and they got a good look. Yeah. They got a good look, you know. It didn't matter if it was your starting point guard or the last guy on the bench. Yeah. You, they got a good look. That's what they wanted at the end. It wasn't the result they wanted, but hey, that's the shot that they wanted to take is an open shot like that. All right, Q, play of the game, man. Play of the game. Okay, for Winnebago, I'm going to stick with uh, uh, Duran Blackfish. Offensively, a juggernaut. Defensively, same way. Uh, played really good defense on their guards. Yep. Um, so that's uh, that's my Winnebago player of the game. Okay. And then uh, we'll, we'll go with uh, uh, the leading scorer over there. What was his name? Uh, Jalen. Jalen. Yep. Yeah, Jalen with the player of the game for the for Pine Ridge Thorpes. He played a heck of a game. Uh, play, had to play had to play extra careful at the end of the game or at the whole the whole second half because of foul trouble and finished off the game with the dub. For sure. Hey folks, we want to thank you guys for helping us on out here and uh, congratulations to the Thorpes. Yeah. We wish everybody a safe trip back home. Thorps are going to be in action in, I uh, believe, Vermillion on Monday. And then they head back to Little Wound on Tuesday. Winnebago Indians will be back in action against the Bancroft Rosalie Panthers. will be coming to town right oh, here in game. Winnebago Stadium. Good game. Hey, Winnebago, they nothing to uh, put your heads down for. That was a really good game fought all the way to the end by both teams. And congratulations to uh, Coach Means over there, uh, and Coach Hart, and coaching staff. You guys did a heck of a job. Gave the Winnebago fans a show today. Thank you very much. Yeah, we want to thank our crew here. Um, you, appreciate you. The Big Voice production crew. We want to thank uh, our camera operators. We also want to thank our director, Bethany Redhorn, and uh, everybody that helped us on out. So on behalf of uh, myself, Garen, Gentry, Bill, Trish, Bethany, and Coach Q, you folks have a good evening and uh, travel safe. We'll see you next time. We'll see you guys on Tuesday.
turn up